Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my new video on Master Camp Tip. Uh, these day um, my work just got busy and don't have so much time to to making uh, to make new video. And today um, I got another tip for you. Okay, so let's see what we're gonna have today. La 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 la. la. Okay, you can see. Um, the tip today is uh, how we can eliminate the unnecessary move from a waterline to home pad. Yeah, it's nearly the same with another previous uh, of my new video yeah, in the same topic, but today I use another method. Okay. Uh, before we uh, we start, I just want to uh, uh, show you something uh, on on the park today. Okay. Uh, I have a park on the screen like this, and you can see um, this just a, a simple 3d park and you can see when we look from the top the park has uh, some uh, 3d surface and uh, yeah when you uh, the home uh, go to the angle and drop angle to, to check the, the angle on the park I want you to see something okay you can see we have some uh, negative angle negative uh, surface yeah which uh, which is marked in red color that's the undercut area we cannot reach with the tool in this operation you know yeah when we cut from the top yeah the tool cannot cut into this uh, undercut area that we mark it red color you can see uh, yeah this is the, un this is the undercut area on the park okay I make a, a rough tool pad like this we claim the park uh, the stock on the vice and after the um, rough operation we have the stock like this yeah you can see this is the stock after the roughing operation yeah and now we're gonna make the finished cut okay okay I will use a, a ball and mill for, for finish okay and I use the waterline tool pad for the finish cutting okay Let's see uh, what a waterline tool pad look like. Yeah, you can see it's uh, look like the same with the finish the the old finished contour tool pad uh, in uh, the previous version of Mastercam. Yeah, uh, the waterline uh, constant uh, Z up uh, depth of cut. You can see. Yeah, this is the waterline, and you can see the problem here. Yeah. You can see the problem. Here we don't have any trouble. We don't have any issue, okay? But look at this. When a tool move uh, over uh, the undercut area, you know, you can see here we have no material here. The tool uh, does not contact with the park, but it still do the cut. And you can see we uh, waste a, a lot of time here in this area where we have no material, okay? For example, this position you can see the tool can take uh, with the park at this position, but it still do this cut and this can be considered an air cutting move, and yeah, it wastes a lot of time. Even here you can see this this surface stop at here this position, but uh, the tool keep go moving, 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 and it doesn't stop it cut from the top to the bottom of the park like this yeah and we have a lot of uh, non cutting move here or recutting move that's waste our time that's what we don't want okay another thing you can see this um, this surface on the side is vertical so um, it's a waste of time to do uh, the cutting with a ball and mill right yeah, sometimes the park is not important or for, on the surface, so you can use a, a flat amulet to cut on the side of the park. Yeah, we have uh, many ways to uh, to trim the, the tool pad to eliminate an un unwanted uh, move like this. You can see we have a lot of unwanted move like this. You can use the boundary to to limit the the tool pad. Yeah, or you can use the check surface to to uh, to remove the the move from 
the error we don't want to cut okay like in the previous of my video I use a check surface to uh, to trim the, the waterline tool pad yeah but that's a waste of time uh, sorry I take a lot of time if uh, the park is complex and uh, uh, we have a lot of surface need to take care about so we are very difficult to select uh, the check surface one by one it takes very very long time okay so today I'm gonna show you another way for for trimming the, the tool pad okay so we don't have uh, we don't have the unwanted move here like this in this area and this you can see we can eliminate it okay so uh, what we gonna do with this this is the waterline tool pad and this has uh, not trimmed yet okay now I'm gonna go to the parameter you can see this is the parameter this is the master cam uh, 2018 and it has um, a little different in uh, the interface but no problem you can see this is the surface I don't use any uh, containment boundary yeah there's no need in the case so you can see I, I don't have uh, any uh, boundary chain to limit the tool pad yeah uh, so this is the tip look at this uh, we will go to the steep and shallow okay this is uh, this is our tip today you can see on the steep and shallow we have the something called angle that's the angle uh, the the limit for the tool pad in this case we machine the from the surface uh, we machine surface from 0 to 90 degree angle this means we uh, we will machine the flat from flat surface like this horizontal to vertical wall like this with no limit okay so you can see uh, it cut like this but there's something uh, the water light tool pad uh, is it enable to uh, to recognize where we have material so you can see even the tool not contact with the park uh, here because these uh, surface surfaces are undercut so the tool is not contact here but it still do the cut because this is the water line and if you don't block the water it will uh, spread everywhere wow that's bullshit you can see here the water keep falling okay even where it's not contact with the park like this it's, it keep falling and it waste our time yeah uh, we don't want to waste water okay we want to keep the water in the area we want it has to be okay so let's check it out you can see uh, when it uh, go from this surface to the undercut area master cam consider this is a vertical error so it's we do the cut yeah it consider this is a vertical wall so it do the cut you can see this is the vertical so if you want to trim this just do some uh, uh, minor chain instead of you go from 0 to 90 degree just use maybe a very very close value okay for example uh, I will input 89.70 uh, 89.99 okay degree let's see what we have okay one two three ping ding 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 okay let's see wow this done you can see there's a lot different I will copy this tool pad okay and I will keep the previous value from 0 to 90 degree so you can easy to compare between the tool pad okay and thing this is the uh, the previous tool pad no trimming yeah no um, angle trimming you can see the water spread everywhere uh, everywhere is wet get wet you can see wow crazy but on this case when we trim the tool pad with the angle yeah only 0.01 degree 
is make the different you can see and 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 you can see the tool will not uh, go into the undercut area here where no material yeah you see that yeah and even on the on the vertical wall here on the side on the right side of the park the tool will skip it the tool will skip it skip it skip it yeah you can see this is a very very simple way for for trimming the tool pad and we can uh, eliminate the unwanted cut from the park uh, so it can save a lot of time let's check the time here uh, for example this one uh, has not been trimmed the circle time is around uh, nearly 22 minutes yeah 21 minutes and 41 uh, second but on this one you can see it's only 15 minutes and 30 seven seconds uh, this is a big difference on big park you can see the difference so this is the uh, way for eliminating the un un unnecessary cut for uh, from a water light tool pad very simple and very effective but in some case it's not a perfect solution because uh, with some park with vertical wall maybe some we have some vertical surface on the on the 3D on the 3D surface here, we have some vo vertical error, so the tool will skip these error. That's what we don't want. Yeah. So this is not a perfect solution for trimming your tool pad, but in some in in many cases, uh, it help you. Yeah, it help a lot. So you with this method, you don't have to create a check surface. You don't have to use the boundary to 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 uh, um, to limit the tool pad just input the value of angle yeah very simple you can see only 0 0.01 degree is make the difference we have have successful in blocking the water yeah so the water just falling in where we want yes that's cool you can see it, it skipped the vertical wall here, so we have to do the finish this wall with a flat MU. Yeah, it saves a lot of time. Yeah. So I think uh, that's all for today. Very, very simple tip, but effective. So I hope it can help you sometime when you uh, have to face with uh, some park like, like this one. Yeah. Very. Ah, uh, simple way to trim the tool pad, yeah. Okay, and that's all for today. Uh, I hope I can see you in a uh, very, very soon video, okay. See you and goodbye for now. Thank you.